Hey, how's it going everybody? Um, just wanted to do an update on the spoon that I was working on carving a couple days ago. Um, finally got a chance to get it to this point. You can, the sun's really bright today. i trying to see through it, but I'm not going to complain because who knows how many more days like that we're going to have. So I took uh, my tools and carved a spoon out, finished shaping the rest of it. Everything by hand, no mechanical tools or electric powered tools. I took pieces of sandpaper and I sanded it down and that's how it has the, you know, semi smooth finish. I didn't want to take it all off because it would take the character out of it. Um, and I wanted to show you, well, I'm not, oh, I'm not done with it. I still, I'd like to take my wood burner and burn some designs into it maybe. And uh, I make a beeswax mixture that I make myself melt down and everything and then I'll coat it with that so when I use it um, you know it, it won't stain the wood as bad but I did want to show you the tools I use this is a Mora 120 carving knife and, and it's made for carving that's what its main jobs to do got a nice little point and these knives are super super sharp and you need to keep them that way because if they're not sharp, that's when the accidents happen. Um, another tool I use, and I use this one mainly to take the bark off of the log or piece of wood that I'm working on. And it has a blade on one side. It's also made by Mora. They make really good products. I'm not a sponsor for Mora or nothing, but they make really good stuff. And here's the knife that you use to get the, the bowl shape inside there. <coughs> Excuse me. And you really, I mean, some people probably could get it with a regular carving knife, but this knife makes it so much easier to get that shape of the bowl or the spoon. And I made this case for it myself because it actually didn't come with a case. Um, out of leather and molded it it fits in there good uh, you can also get them this one just it's just sharp on one side you can get them where they're sharp on both sides which just kind of helps you keep your your carving even so you can go back and forth with me just having one I kind of have to constantly check that I'm getting the same bowl shape on both sides if that makes sense and my trusty little carving axe love this sheath nice high quality leather and it is very small as you can see my hand takes up most of the handle but it's really just made to do kindling work at, you know at a camp to get your kindling tender while you're uh, trying to get your fire going and it's also made for carving which it can hack off a lot of material before you have to sit there and, and, and carve. And that fine carving is what takes the most time. Um, it's a Holtz Brook, in case anybody wanted to know. I, I don't remember the name, the model they call it, but good, good piece of equipment. Definitely worth the investment. And then lastly, uh, I, this is just a sharpener I, I found somewhere. It's got a nice little smooth ceramic side here, rough side, smooth side, and it has a leather strope on the end. That I really like because you can take your carving tools and before you use them and just kind of sharpen them up a bit. Um, yeah, that just, you know, and then as you're doing this stuff, uh, if you've never done it before, I recommend it. It's kind of relaxing, just go sit outside sit in the woods and just sketch out on a piece of, you know, remove the bark. You could even take your, your uh, silky saw or baco or whatever and just kind of cut the size off of a, a limb or whatever that you want. And then bring a marker or pencil so it helps when you can sketch out 
the design of the kuska spoon fork whatever uh, figurine whatever you're doing onto the wood so then you kind of have a reference as you're taking off wood to to get it down to the fine shape and one thing that i think about why i'm doing it too is our ancestors were some very very bad dudes man very tough if they could sit here and and, and just to have a spoon just to have a fork just to have a bowl you know what whatever they need and it's a lot cheaper i imagine uh, i'm not an expert on old times but to to buy this tool that's metal and use this to create 20 30 tools than it would be to buy metal tools especially back then to buy a metal tool for everything you need but it's a lot of work to take carving knives and, and make your utensils and make your wife's utensils and back then they had a lot of children so you know you might have 12 kids and, and you got to make 12 spoons and you got to make 12 forks and so on but tough people you know and when you're doing this it'll kind of give you a little idea and bring in some respect for how tough they were but I'll update the video when I get the spoon done and hopefully everybody's doing good getting some time outside while it's nice out and uh, stay dangerous my friends